Hey, what's up everybody? This is just a quick update on my first moringa plant that I tried to grow. Uh, what happened with this plant was about a, probably about a month and a half ago, I had uh, opened up one of the windows in the room I was growing this in, and I had only, only planned to leave it open for about 10 minutes or so just to air the room out. But uh, I was kind of absent-minded and I, I had to leave the house and uh, I forgot to close the window. So uh, the window was open for about, probably about four hours or so, maybe a little longer. And uh, the temperature outside was below 40 degrees. It was probably about 38 or so that day. So uh, what happened was because of that, within about a week, it uh, started to lose majority of its leaves they all started to yellow and fall off from about the two foot mark down on this plant and uh, I decided that uh, I would try to grow it for a few more weeks just to see what would happen and it did it, it did continue to grow it, it didn't die or anything like that but uh, what I had was a over a three foot tall plant with uh, leaves above the two foot mark so it kind of did look like a little tree but I Again, it wouldn't have been, uh, I guess, the most efficient grow, so I decided I'd cut it down so that way, you know, I could go for a bushier plant instead. And uh, I did that about two weeks ago, probably a little less than two weeks ago. And uh, what I did was I cut it, left about four inches of stem, and I cut it with a clean knife, 45 degree angle. Uh, within not even three days, within a couple of days it started to grow new shoots out the side. So this plant here is currently less than two weeks old and it's growing like crazy. I mean way faster than when uh, you plant it from seed of course. I mean obviously because it has a really well established root base, probably has a nice root ball down in there. And uh, oh, I might as well show you this. See with this plant I topped it. Hopefully that focuses, but you can see right there where I topped it. I cut off the top, which looked like that. Oh, and that's another thing. This uh, this plant here actually grew up two main stems. You've got this bigger one here and the smaller one right here. And I thought, you know, I might, I was going to cut this off just so it had one main stem but seeing how as I want to keep it a short bushy plant anyways I figured I'd leave it and let it grow and uh, it actually has a third one trying to grow on this side and I think I might we'll see I, I might just end up cutting that one off so it gives all the nutrients to these two other stems here but uh just to give you an idea though if you wanted to do one of those moringa intensive harvests where you planted three to five moringa plants and say like a five gallon pot that should work out fine for you you grow them to uh, about 30 inches or higher and then you cut them down four inches of stem and uh, considering how quickly this plant is growing within a couple of months this thing is going to be huge I mean, it's going to grow way quicker than uh, from seed that's for sure so once you got a nice plant established you can continue to, to harvest it cut it down and uh, from what I understand, it's, it's supposed to grow within a couple of months. You'll be able to harvest it again. It should be above the 30 inch mark within a couple of months. And uh, I'm actually only growing these plants in a one gallon smart pot. And uh, there you go. We're going to go for a plant. Extremely vigorous. Alright, you guys have a good one.